Hi, this is Josh Garman with TJ Snow Company. Today we're going to talk about how to use the Easy Weld Screen on the Intron 6001 Weld Control. The Easy Weld Screen was developed to provide the user with an easy to use interface that's similar to an EN1000 control. The Intron 1000 was around for 20 plus years and was known for its user friendly interface. When Intron designed the EN6001, several weld schedule parameters were added. Some users complained that this made the control more difficult to program. Intron then decided to offer the Easy Weld Screen option as a way to offer a more simplistic interface similar to the EN1000. First, let's review the weld schedule in standard mode. There's parameters in here that the average user may not need. Now we're going to go and enable the control for Easy Weld mode. First, you'll want to hit the F key to access the main menu. Then you're going to use the down arrow to go down until about is highlighted. Now you're going to hold down the plus key and then hit the enter key. This will bring up the setup menu. You're going to choose configuration by highlighting config and hitting enter. Then you're going to scroll down until you see the setting for easy weld. You're going to change that to on. Hit enter. It's now on. Hit escape. Easy weld mode has now been enabled. After Easy Weld is enabled, you can hit the F key, you'll go to the Easy Weld screen instead of the main menu, and you'll have a few basic parameters there for programming. The weld schedule is now limited to Use Schedule, Edit Schedule, Squeeze Time, Weld 2 Time, Heat Slash Current, Cool 2 Time, and Impulses. If you want to go back to the standard configuration, first you'll hit Escape to get back to the status screen. Then you'll hold down the plus button and hit the F key. That'll take you to the main menu. Use the down arrow to scroll down until about is highlighted. Then you'll hold down the plus key and hit the enter key. So take you to the setup menu. You can choose configure. Then you'll want to scroll down to the easy weld parameter and change that to off. Well, that's how you set up the easy weld. For more information, you can visit us at tjsnow.com. <laughs>